Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Um, I am Jocelyn, warmly Jocelyn, if this is your first time here. Thank you for being here. It is so appreciated. This is a channel all about encouragement, all about faith, all about interior design. I am an all around lifestyle girly. Um, centered on God, centered on community, centered on all the goodness. So today I want to be very intentional. I mean, I always am in all my videos, but I want to be very, very sensitive and intentional about what I am talking about today. And it's all about having hope in turbulent times, increasing your hope, tapping into your hope, finding hope. All of that because y'all are no stranger to knowing that it is a lot of political upheaval going on, especially with the election that just passed. And a lot of us are looking for hope, myself included. You, you gotta be able to go to your old faithfuls and you have to know how to access your hope. And in my life, hope has carried me through. My faith has carried me through. Having perspective and reframing has been instrumental. So I want to come on here and share with y'all what has helped me. And hopefully you can take some nuggets with y'all. All right? All right. <sighs> I guess I just have to start by taking a breath. I'm breathing a lot more um, these days. And that is not a part of my tips but maybe it should be just breathe we don't even know how often like we're holding in our breath we hold our breath in so much more than we even realize so i'm often having time having to like just release so breathe just keep breathing 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 you know um but my first thing that has to be numero uno is having faith and having a relationship with God and being in um, community with other believers. If you do believe, even if you're curious about about God, just getting in the company of 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 good spirited folks, people who can nourish you, people who can. Um, really encourage you it's so important and that you can't it's not that you can just only find that in the church or around believers but we believe in like it don't matter if right or left wins i know who who is king i know who ultimately has the say and governs my life so i do think that when you are around folks like that you kind of are able to have perspective and you are able to think about um, things differently from a lens that is wider. Um, whereas, you know, here on this e eternal life, we're so fixated on our carnal lives, what it means why we are in these human bodies. And that's legit. That's valid. Of course, we're all human. But that is a that is a limited view because we only have we're so close up we can take the certainty or the so-called certainty but we can't we can't not know what's about to happen and i think right now in this where we are in 2024 and beyond we just don't know what's going to happen so it doesn't sit well with us if you haven't already or if you're just curious about it i would form a relationship with god learn about what he says about you learn about his promises and you will will not even you can but you will find so much peace in that because he is he's the god of peace he's the father of peace um so that's that number two i is how you can really dig into hope is using this time if you haven't already is getting a therapist this is not the time to be listening to the online gurus because listen i'm not even no online guru i just i'm just here to impart what works for me i'm not saying you have to do this i'm not saying that this is you know the bee's knees the end all be all i'm just sharing and imparting like hey this has helped help me maybe it might help you take what you want 
if it don't work it don't work if it works amazing but i am somebody who cares about people i am somebody who um really is an encourager and i take pride in that so i th that's that's what i'm saying but see i get off on these tangents but i say that i say that to say that this isn't the time to be listening to these online gurus who say that you must do this or you have to do this this is the time to be getting with somebody with some credentials okay and that is is licensed so i this is this is the time if you can access a therapist there are also free resources to therapy that i will link below um that can help you or income based type programs that can kind of kind of um, get you some some support at a discounted price so there, so it's out there right and this is the time um to really lean into that um so especially when you're trying to find hope and you're trying to reframe and you're trying to understand things differently and you're trying to be okay it might even be a not even just a psychologist but a psychiatrist maybe this is like man my anxiety is a lot right now maybe i might need a little low dose prescription and this is not me putting meds on you and it's like look the word and god is is one thing and yes god is sovereign god is god is all of that but there are also tools out here to help you so i i i'm just i'm, I'm very pro therapy i'm very pro helping yourself a quick ad break from our friends at level eight as i gear up for my 30th birthday i want a luggage that works as hard as i do level eight luggage is designed with a modern traveler in mind lightweight durable and built to withstand whatever comes your way crafted from high quality scratch resistant materials Level 8 stands the test of time. So Level 8, travel smart, travel strong, and use my code PREBF20 for 20% off. That's PREBF20. So in these times when you feel like, man, I, I just, I'm, I'm, I'm losing hope. I don't feel great. I'm showing up every day less than, than who I know I can be. I'm very tired. Look into therapy. The third thing to access, to access your hope is finding those things that bring you joy and really really prioritizing them what brings you joy and if you don't know what brings you joy you should write a list of the things that bring you joy just so you can see it in front of you right put that in front of you and really like during this time if you feel like you don't have hope let's up the ante on the joy right like let's up the ante on on really like outweighing the the bad with the good right because something that can't be taken away and that is that is yours to keep is your joy like that is mine my joy is mine i take it seriously it takes a, and i say this all the time it takes a lot to have joy it's so much easier to be pessimistic it's so much easier to be negative it's so much easier to spew out hate it's so much easier to like be confrontational and all of that which people during right now are so confrontational and they're so adversarial and they're so divided and it's like don't don't give into it right like don't give into it which brings me to my next point is if you got to step away from social media step away from social media social media is not going anywhere but what matters is having your peace intact what matters is having um a a, a level head it being balanced having your emotional equi having your emotional equilibrium intact those things are the things that matter and if social media is not an environment that is nourishing um all of those things that i just mentioned then it might be might be a moment like i gotta step away for a month or i gotta step away for a week or i have to step away for the day because this is not this is not helping that's the environment that we live in right now so you have to have discernment and have wisdom to know i know what's going on right like i know what's going on and i'm not gonna get caught up in in the rah-rah like i am going i i peep and i'm gonna let y'all be crazy and i'm gonna step back right like i'm gonna let y'all argue argue like as as they said argue amongst yourselves i'm gonna let y'all argue amongst yourselves but i'm gonna go protect my joy my next point is really taking care of yourself physically right it kind of almost goes hand in hand with hope I'm making sure like that you are um going to sleep and getting a good night's rest right to even have energy making sure that you are feeding yourself nutritious food to also 
make your body feel okay. That's why comfort food is a real thing, but all comfort food doesn't have to be bad. Like if I know that gosh, today has been a terrible day, there is nothing like cooking a home cooked meal and then popping like some, some cookies in the oven and sinking into the couch. Like those type of things is like, you know what? After I'm done with my meal that I just like gave so much love and care into, and then I go and eat my cookie or whatever the case may be. After that, I'm like, you know, today wasn't that bad. Just taking care of yourself, like taking care of yourself physically um, so that you can even have the strength, so that you can even endure so that you can even consider hope. And my next one is preparation. And I think a lot of times we lose hope because maybe we are jaded or that we are in a state of fear. And when that happens, fear can sometimes, at least for me, I can't speak for everyone, but for me, fear can be stemmed with a lack of preparation. Like, what if this happens? That's anxiety and fear. What if this happens? Or what if this happens? And what if that happens? And it's like, it could, it could. Um, and if it does, what what preparation do you have in place to soften the blow? And what else can you just give to God to handle? What is in your control and what what is not? And the things that are in my control, I try to steward them well. If it's finances, if it's my relationships, if it's my career. So I think that like sometimes having a lack of preparation and we kind of just like panic. We saw this with the, with the pandemic. Like when we just kind of panic, it's the preparation of knowing that are my are my as you would say like your affairs are your affairs in order how can i prepare or what do i need for me to to ease some of this anxiety or to ease some of this fear because sometimes anxiety is very inflated and it's like it's not gonna happen right but it could and it's like even that chance that some of us who have dealt with anxiety it's like even that chance of it could is it's too much for us right like it's like it's too much being prepared where you can and understanding what is out of your control and then for my last and final point my last and final point for hope looking back because if any of us have been around for long enough and i will be turning 30 next week crazy um but praise god if any of us have been around for any amount of time we are not strangers to challenging times. We are not we are not strangers to suffering. We are not strangers to um, uncertain times, right? Like we, 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 we see those words thrown out in media a lot. Take inventory, look back on your life and see how things have worked out. And this time is no different. So I think that like while you're accessing hope, look at the ways that hope has shown up for you in all the other areas of your life and like use that as fuel, use that as evidence and it can just really help from a day-to-day -day perspective. So that's what I have today, friends. I know that times are confusing and that they are tricky. But I just, I genuinely feel that and know that everything will be okay. I just hope that you are taking care of yourself, that you are loving on the people around you, that you are also being kind, moving in integrity, and just taking it one day at a time. And until next time, you guys, I will see you then. Thank you so much for being here. And yeah, have a great week. Bye.